Hi, I'm Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing Live number 62. This is the 2nd of January. For those of you who are watching this broadcast um, after the fact, uh, welcome to our broadcast on whatever day this is. Uh, but let me just start by saying Happy New Year to you. Very happy to have you with me today. So the question of the day is, <laughs> do you feel like you're connected from your chest to your head voice, yes or no? Because today we're gonna to talk about the fastest way from chest to head voice connected. And uh, I think after the day is over, we'll shed some light on how to do this quickly and effectively and efficiently, at least one way. And uh, so, how was your new year? I want to uh, just shout out and say hello. Happy New Year, Subia, nice to have you here today. And Bruno Inferno, Sound and video all fine. Thank you, Bruno Inferno. That's big on my mind here. And uh, I appreciate that feedback. VC, hello all. Nice to have you here with us. Um, everybody have a, a good New Year's. It's, uh, we personally had just pretty much quiet time, downtime. We went to see a show yesterday. Um, the great, the greatest, uh, what is it? What's it called? The greatest entertainer, uh, the Hugh Jackman uh, story of P.T. Barnum. It was awesome show. Loved it. Loved, loved, loved it. Really had a great evening. So I hope you had a nice holiday and had some downtime and maybe some family time and that you uh, enjoyed yourself and kind of renewed and ready to go for 2018. Can you believe it? So shout out to um, Okay. Anuda, Happy New Year, Anuda, and uh, oh, the greatest showman. Thank you. Yeah, I just uh, thought it was great. Has any any of you guys seen that yet? Um, really, a lot of good storytelling, and uh, I'm a Hugh Jackman fan for sure. But I thought he had some really interesting characters. I loved his wife. I loved the kids, the daughters in it. Um, I loved all of the people that worked for him in his show. Uh, the voices were fun. The choreography I thought was amazing. Um, anyway, so great fun. So today we're going to talk about um, the fastest way from chest to head voice uh, connected. And uh, so in a few minutes, uh, three and a half, four minutes, we'll, we'll get started into the show show. This is our pre-show right now. Pre-show show. show. <laughs> so um, Yapadios, hello. Nice to have you with us today. So what do you guys, anybody want to venture out and say, yeah, I'm, I'm connected from chest to head now? Um, were you always that way? I certainly wasn't. In fact, I didn't know what head voice was <laughs> and I thought it was the top. You've heard me talk about this before. Got to a certain point and I just stopped. And I thought, well, that's the end of my voice. Oh, I was so wrong. And then I found out, no, that's not the end. That's the beginning of the bridge. And, uh, and then once I learned that, I learned I could get through the bridge and I kind of limped my way through it and uh, eventually got to the point where I could sing an F and then an F sharp and then a G and then an A flat and an A and so forth. So um, anyway, Ellie, hi, Ellie Demo. Happy New Year to you. Yare, Mark, Marquis. I'm not connected from chest to head. Okay, all right, good. So this is... Maybe perhaps a, uh, a session today that will uh, be a benefit to you. Thank you for sharing that. Um, and it's most of the time when we're first, especially when we're first starting out, that's the case. Um, there are some, some who are gifted, who just have born with the ability to connect their chest voice to their head voice. No problems. You know, they have no issues. I know a few people who, who are like that, that I work with in theater and they're just uh, natural, natural singers and been able to do it all their lives. And wow, wouldn't that be something to be able to do that? But the rest of us folks, we can learn to do it. And uh, we can learn to do it really well too. Uh, Subia says, I think after doing the exercises for light chest, uh, I'm now able to sing in my chest voice. Awesome, cool. Popular music and videos. Hi, how are you today? Can I be a very good singer? Whatever my voice is, please reply. No, no, I wouldn't say that's the case. I think you have to have some basics about it. 
Um, yeah, so it's a very wide open, whatever your voice is. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't, maybe you've got one vocal cord for all I know, right? So, but if you can talk, I think you can. I think if you could carry a tune, that's a really important thing. Uh, that's a big struggle that a lot of people have. But if you can carry a tune and talk, I think you can have a great voice. Or at least a voice that enough people in the world will love that you can make a living at it. Uh, Stefan Phil, nice to have you with us today. How are you? My head voice sounds so breathy. What can I do to make it sound strong and in a healthy way? Hmm, maybe I can address that today, later on. Um, Anna Anuda. Anuda, does chromatic scales help you to sing high notes? No. Uh, Yapadios, I keep losing the connection. Chest ahead, not the stream. I <laughs> gotcha. Um, <clears throat> okay, so maybe this is going to help. Welcome, everybody. It's the top of the hour. This is Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing Live, number 62. Today, we're going to be talking about the fastest way from chest to head voice connected. So welcome to the broadcast. Happy New Year to you. Those of you who are joining us today, January, well, and uh, man, I suppose some of you could be joining us tomorrow, uh, your time uh, live. And uh, right now in the United States, where I am broadcasting from in the state of Utah, it's at the top of the hour of 2 p.m., and it's the second day in January 2018. But welcome to you who have just joined us, who maybe uh, missed the live broadcast, but you're joining the recording. This is a really interesting topic here. Why? Um, because most of the time, the challenge we face as singers is getting from the bottom to the top of our voice uh, connected so that we don't pull chest, we don't scream or yell, we have to belt it out or blast it uh, so that we don't, so we do it in a way we don't have to break or crack in the falsetto, or we do it in a way that it ends up uh, not being light and breathy and so forth. So we want to be able to get through that bridge area. So what's a bridge? The bridge is the transition from your chest into your head. So until I realized I could do that, I just would stop at the E above middle C. But I learned uh, as a result of studying this technique that I teach uh, now for let me see. I started out in full-time 10 years ago, uh, part-time 10 years ago, full-time nine years ago. So I've been teaching it about 10 years and studying it for 20 years, 21 years. Ah! So I found out that I can go through that area called the bridge and really pretty well. I could use that to sing with. Ma, 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 ma. So, What's the fastest way to get to that? We're going to talk about that today. So a shout out to Senatine Jade. Chuck, can you please explain the difference between basically connected and truly connected? Um, if you're connected, you know, it's, are you basically pregnant or uh, truly pregnant? You know, if you're basically pregnant, you're pregnant. <laughs> so if you're basically connected, you're connected. Uh, so I'm guessing that you're actually saying that uh, would you explain the difference between all, you know, almost connected or, you know, you're not sure that it's really connected to connected. And um, maybe, that, maybe that will be made clear in the process of this discussion today. So hopefully we're going to clarify that a little bit more. Uh, Chris Spinelli says, I'm a guitar player who... Couldn't carry a tune, but I've worked at it for a while and I've gotten pretty decent over the years. Yes, Chris, I have several students who have started out not being able to carry tunes and they still have to work at it, but they're getting so much better. You know, the hard thing is if you want to sing and you can't carry a tune, it's possible, but you will have to work twice as hard, maybe three or four times as hard. Not because getting the voice in shape, you may have a fantastic voice, but we don't care if the pitches aren't right, right? So we can't, you know, just like a, on the on an instrument, you can't play it. Well, he played the piano really well, but he couldn't hit the notes. 
So same thing. And singing, we really want, we're very strict about that as, as listeners. We want to hear a singer who's on tune, on pitch. Hello, uh, Lynn Arthur says, uh, hello, happy new year. One question, my chest voice is pretty weak. My head voice is somehow, and my head voice is somehow. Uh, maybe do you know why it's like that? And maybe a tip it's uh, to strengthen my chest voice. I think that might be answered to, in today's session. Uh, Subia says it's 2.30 a.m. right now in India. Holy cow, Subia. What devotion you have here. Thank you for joining me in the middle of the night. My gosh. Your patios, 2200 in uh, Central Europe. Uh, what's that? That's late. That'd be like uh, 10, 10, a. M., uh, 10 p.m., huh? Uh, Jason, 5 p.m. in the Caribbean. Oh, Jason. Nice. Be nice to be in the Caribbean right now. Hi, Joe. Uh, Gr Jason Greenaway, I don't... Yeah, I'm not sure I've ever met you. Nice to have you with us today. Happy New Year to you. Joe Weston, nice to have you here today. Okay, so... <clears throat> Uh, and, and Happy New Year to you, Joe. Always excited to be here. Sore throat today. Uh-oh. But you can listen. Please don't do anything that's going to hurt your voice. The patio is connected, but with occasional discontinuity. Okay. This is a... So let, let's talk about this. This is a problem that um, is probably the num Well, no doubt about it. This is the number one issue that singers face. How can I sing high notes... And have them sound good. How can I get from low down in my chest up high? Many of you may think that it's impossibility because you were born a certain way. That's what I used to think too. That <clears throat> I was born with a voice that stopped at the E above middle C. Then I found out that that's not true. I found out that um, I can I can sing. Um, past the E above middle C and it's it's not the top or the end of my voice it's something called a bridge and to get through that bridge allows me to kind of go into some new rooms in my voice that I can use to sing and and have extra notes and so I've, I've increased my range uh, well, I can sing I can sing the E high E above high C I wouldn't use it in a song, but I've increased my range in exercises for um, you know more than an octave, and I'd say for in most many many cases for the men especially that's very possible. For the women, uh, you can increase your range connected by an octave plus or more, and so it's a it's an amazing wonderful thing. All right, so um, thank you for joining me today. And uh, Happy New Year to all of you. So how do we do this? How do we connect up uh, our voices? Ali Demo says, I'm, I'm um, learning to belt and mix. Belt mix. My chest voice is strong, so is, and so is my head voice. But when I mix, it feels like there's a massive pressure in my head. And any moment, my voice can burst from trying to contain it. Uh, what am I doing wrong? Well, I'm thinking probably, Ellie, it's just a matter of time before that will go away. I don't know how long it's been that way. But sometimes when we do things new, we're not quite coordinated yet. We're getting there. We're experiencing new, different things. But it's not quite balanced. Um, in other words, we're pushing too hard or there's too much airflow. We're doing it too loud and so forth. So that will probably smooth out over time, although I don't know what your exercises look like or who you're studying with, and that's so I'm only speaking from my standpoint from the exercises that I use. All right, so what is this? Uh, what's the fastest way from chest to head voice connected? Um, I think the, there's multiple ways, ladies and gentlemen. There are multiple ways to do this. But I'm becoming convinced over time, after you know, 10 years of teaching and, and uh, working with many students, that the fastest way is to keep the feeling of 
being connected to your chest voice. By that, I mean that we go up the scale and what it feels like here, nay, 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 it feels like up here. Nay, 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 rather than nay, 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 rather than adjusting it or anything else. Now, as I said, there's more than one way to do this, but let me suggest that a really effective way is to do this nay, nay, nay scale. Nay, 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 nay. Now this is, I'm going to do this and show you in the men's octave. This is now the A below middle C, starting from A and going to E. Nay, 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 <coughs> nay, nay. And I'm using this uh, kind of uh, unusual sound. It sounds a little bit witchy, a little bit bratty. It's not a normal sound. Nay, 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 nay. Nay, 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 nay. Now that ended at the C to the A flat. So the top note is the A flat above middle C. Sorry, the C sharp to the A flat. So I just went through the first bridge of my voice into head voice, the G and the A flat. And uh, those two notes are still head voice and, and approaching what's called my second bridge. Or most men's second bridge. So, ladies, you would do the same thing. You do this little bratty sound. Nay, nay, nay. Nay, 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 nay. Now, where I was making it, I've made some mistakes as a teacher. And I think that what I'm finding now is that if I'll ask my students to do that nay, 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 uh, but not let it switch, not let it change, keep the, keep the tension on it as if you were still in your chest voice. But with that little bratty, witchy sound, it takes, it reduces the heaviness. It's not as heavy as chest. And we're definitely deeper into it than um, falsetto. Nay, 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 nay. Now, why that's fat? Why is that? I'll tell you what the mistake I was making was I was allowing nay, 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 nay. I was still allowing some people to switch, even though they stayed kind of bratty underneath it. They essentially were going into something, either falsetto or something close to it. So I found that an, if I stop the singer and say, no, 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 no. Make it feel like you're in chest, but just stay bratty witchy. Nay, 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 nay. Ladies, that's your scale there. That's going from the, a, uh, the F sharp to the C sharp, the high C sharp. So that would be the C sharp five. So the F sharp three, uh, four to the C sharp five takes you all the way through your bridge. Now, I say this, this is the fastest way because this is what I'm seeing with my students. It's a way to, to start connecting it up from chest to head and, and asking them to do it firmly as if you were in chest. All right, so there's more to say about that, but I, I just want to check back with you now and say hi to some the others who have just joined us um, or have made a comment that's um, regarding this information here. So... If we back up just a little bit, I'm not sure there's any questions here that are specifically about what I just showed you. So I'm going to come circle back here in a minute and address some of these specific questions. Uh, let me go to, um, you know, if I don't start at the top, I'm going to miss something here. So let me just... Um,
let's start, let me just address Stefan Phil's comment. He said, in question, my head voice sounds so breathy. What can I do to make it strong, loud and strong in a healthy way? I know it's it sounds simple, and it, it fundamentally is simple. You do have to find this little breathy sound. Nay, 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 nay. Witchy, whatever you want to call it. Nasty, ugly. Nay, 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 nay. So, uh, Stefan, if you said, starting here at the A flat below middle C to the A flat above middle C. Nay, 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 nay. Now, what it isn't, it isn't. Nay, 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 nay. Nope. I'm maintaining this feeling like I'm in chest. But I'm not doing it in chest. Nay, 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 nay. I'm not just yelling it up. I am not screaming it up. I'm not breaking into falsetto on the way up. Nay, 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 nay. I'm not even doing bratty falsetto. Nay, 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 nay. And I think that's a mistake I've made. I've allowed bratty falsettos. No more. Um, it's got to. It's got to have that same feeling of connection as if you were doing it in chest. But by doing this bratty sound, it tends to uh, take some of the weight of the chest out. And you know, one of the one of the ways I I've explained it in the past, which is probably very unscientific, but uh, I've used a rubber band, and you know, if if the vocal cords there there are two vocal cords, and they you know they're they sit in the larynx and they're side by side and I'm going to use this as an illustration does that let me just see here is that just like out of focus let me let me just take a look at this okay I think that's focusing so let's just say those are the vocal cords in regular chest voice now this little bratty sound has uh, the impact of thinning the chord structure out. So even if I'm still down there in my chest voice, that nay, 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 now the chords are, they're not as thick, they're not as heavy, okay? And it's reflected in the voice too. It's not nay, 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 it's nay, 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 and uh, I'll give you another tip. If you go quickly to the E, nay, 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 nay. Where is that? That was like the G or the A flat to the A with about a an eighth under pitch. <laughs> now, so the idea is that that little bratty, witchy, uh, nasty sound helps take some of the thickness, some of the weight of the chest voice out, okay? Now, in falsetto, I don't know if I could illustrate this or not, but if I break into falsetto, then the vocal cords, you know, they, they almost, they're coming together, otherwise it would sound like, <sighs> that's what it sounds like, it sounds like when you're breathing. So, this is not a perfect illustration, but if this were falsetto, which is not exactly what way it would be, that nay, nay, nay keeps these things together. And, um, you know, if it were sideways like this, you can't really see it. I, it'd probably be more effective to do this. If this were falsetto up here, this nay, nay, nay gets me in this deep. So the vocal cords would be like this, okay, and the falsetto would be up here, nay, 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 but the bratty sound gets me deeper into the vocal cords, nay, nay, nay. So it's doing two things. 
It's take it's it's lighter than full chest, but it's it's deeper than falsetto. So I'm not disconnecting. I'm not disconnecting in the falsetto, and I'm not pulling up the weight of the chest. So I'm not pulling chest. So I'm I'm getting a connected tone from chest to head. And in fact, it's a form or uh, the substance of a mixed voice, okay? Because I'm, I'm maintaining that tonal connection. I'm getting an appropriate adjustment of the vocal cords from chest to head. They're, it's not letting go into falsetto or, or disconnecting into falsetto. Um, I'm not losing the chord adduction, the appropriate chord function. And, and so it's really quite a remarkable little thing. If I, if I am the female, if I, in the female register, I would start at the C sharp, above middle, middle C sharp. Nay, 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 nay. I can, I can even do it in the women's register. But ladies, you would do that too. Come down a half step. Nay, 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 nay. Now I'm not going in the falsetto. It's deeper than falsetto, but it's not as heavy as chest, full chest. Nay, 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 and I don't have to do it loud. I just have to keep that bratty sound. Nay, 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 and so the challenge is to find that bratty, witchy uh, tone and uh, and do it as soft as you can. I'm doing, I've been doing it rather loud. <clears throat> the ideal is to do it with this little loudness as, as you, so you have to find that indispensable minimum. You have to do it loud enough to stay connected at first. All right, so let me pause here and try and, uh, Get back to a couple of these questions. So, Stefan, um, this is one way to develop to to develop a stronger head voice is to do this bratty nay exercise. Why? Because if these are the chords, you're up here, and you need to get deeper into the chord structure, and that little bratty nay will help will lead you to that. It may not be immediate, but it will begin to lead you. To that, and I would start it, and this applies to all many questions that I get. So this is going to help uh, everyone. If I said, nay, 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 it's connected from chest to head. Eventually, we want to once our nervous system begins to accept that, we can get less bratty, and less of that unfinished sound. This is an unfinished sound. So I might say instead of nay, 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 bratty, nay, 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 might go a little less bratty. Nay, 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 nay. And then over time, I can do it even less bratty. Nay, 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 Or begin to migrate to other vowels and consonants. No, 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 no. And eventually, um, now I'm on the A flat, but I, I'm, I'm really kind of getting into this. No, 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 no. Ma, 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 ma. And so it leads to these other things that we can do. Okay? Very, very effective, very efficient. Now, um, okay, Yari uh, Mark uh, Marek says, I'm not connected from chest to head voice. Yari, this is how you do it, okay? Does chromatic scales help you sing high notes? You know... Um, it will help you develop your ear. It'll help develop your agility. But what I've shown you today will do more to help you um, get in, get your high notes, um, than, uh, Anuda, than anything 
uh, about scale work, okay? Uh, your patios, I keep losing the connection, chest ahead. For all of you who are interested, if we lose this connection, it's because the larynx is coming up. If the larynx comes up, it tends to pull the, um, it tends to be very difficult to keep the vocal cords together. Thanks. Um, my assistant has brought me some of the questions here. She's kind of uh, gone through some of them that aren't duplicates. Let me address a couple of these. Burno Inferno, I can connect just ahead, but I've noticed that when I go into the first bridge, I tend to lose connection with my diaphragm and sing from my throat. Yeah, so Burno, I would, I would say practice this particular exercise so that you can do it with... Because if I said if I did it this way and I said nay 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 you can hear that I'm a little bratty in the bottom, but when I get to the bridge I lose that and just go into pure chest. Nay 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 and I start yelling it. Essentially what I'm doing is uh you know, I've got this nice thing going with with my um vocal cords and you know they're they're thinned out with that nay nay nay. Nay, 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 nay. It, and, and they get thicker if I lose that bratty sound. That's why it gets hard. So you want to really focus in on that bratty. Now, here's a tip. If you listen to nay, there's an E in nay. There's two sounds, A, E. Go quickly to the E sound. Keep it bratty, witchy, ugly, nasty. <laughs> nay. Nay, 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 You can hear, you can hear that I'm, if I go up to do the women's, I've got to do it. If if I stay too much, if I'm too focused on the A sound, nay, 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 nay. But if I say nay, 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 that E really helps me get into head. E has a, has a tends to, like our voices have a tends to. Most of you, many of you, tend to pull chest, high larynx. Subia tends to be light chest, no chest. The E vowel tends to be heady, or tends to encourage the head voice. The A vowel tends to, A, 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 tends to encourage chest. So the combination of these two gives you chest to head. Nay. Nay, 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 But if I dwell on the A portion of that, nay, 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 it's, it's, makes it impossible to get through that bridge and into my head. So, nay, 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 nay. Okay, let me address a couple other questions here. So, this connection uh, that you lose, Bruno, um, you may want to stay with the bratty sound and stay on the, try going quickly to that E portion. Um, and you might want to bend, even bend over. When we're fighting uh, to keep that connection, here's a really good way to do this. Nay, 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 nay. And when you're down, uh, when you're at the top of that scale, you should be halfway down looking at the floor. Um, and that's going to help it. That's going to help give you some solidity because you're going to have to use your diaphragm when you bend over like that. So you said, I wanted to ask this, how to sing high notes with a neutral larynx position? So the, the key to singing the high notes is stability in the first bridge. That's your A, B flat, B, and C. So you want to establish your chest voice, really get your chest voice going so that you have a chest voice to mix with the head. And um, you'll find that the, the, more, the stronger and more firm your chest is, the more anchored it's going to be, that the larynx is going to stay down better. Um, and 
one of the difficulties that students with a light chest, no chest have is that as they sing higher, uh, uh, the, the, the neck and the, the body begins to say, gosh, I need more power. And so they start squeezing a little bit and the larynx starts going up and then they lose, their, they lose the stability, the, everything starts to break down at that point. And um, it's certainly the larynx is going up and you're not in neutral position. So keep working that first bridge area with your chest voice and, uh, and doing all the exercises and it's going to come, it will come. Okay, um, Lynn Arthur. Hello, Happy New Year. I have one question. My chest voice is pretty weak and my head voice is somehow. Maybe you, do you know why it's like that? And maybe a tip to strengthen my chest voice. Well, this nay, nay, nay does really well. Um, Lynn Arthur, Lynn Arthur, Lynn Arthur, L-E-N-A-R-T-U-R. I don't know whether you're male or female, but this will apply for both voices. If you're male, and any male with a light chest, no chest, nay, 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 or na, 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 na. One thing you could do is ah, 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 to get that ah, get that chord connection. Ah, na, 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 nay, 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 nay. You've got to work that voice. And I would recommend that you do the exercises for light chest, no chest, male or female. They're, they're both of you. Both of them are there. And I'll take this moment now just to show you uh, how to do that. For those of you who don't know, uh, let me go to, I'm going to have you go to powertosing.com. And um, let me see here. Power to sing dot, if you go to powertosing.com and... Um, this is the, the home, home screen and then click on the knowledge center, which is three categories in. If you go to the knowledge center, now let's just say in the case of, well, I should back up. If you've never been to this site before, go back to the home screen and, um, take the power test. And what that is, is you, you record your voice. By, there's a video here you can watch that will explain this, but record your voice. It's loading slowly. Record your voice, uh, and then it will start playing uh, accompaniment for the ladies. It would, and you start singing with it. And you keep going up, and you go through the bridge. You turn the recording off, then you listen back and answer these questions. Does it feel or sound like I'm yelling, straining my voice, and so on. You start as answering all these questions, and then you submit, answer them all, submit your answers, and within uh, a couple of minutes or less, you will get a, um, you'll get your vocal type. All right, so with your vocal type, you then go back to, where am I here? With your vocal type, then you go to the Knowledge Center, okay? Are we seeing this? All right. And let's just say you were light chest, no chest. Then you click on light chest, no chest. And here are three videos that talk about light chest, no chest, what it is. I'm gonna give you exercises here for light chest, no chest. And then there, are, you can download exercises that I've shown you to start working on strengthening the chest voice, which will also in turn strengthen your, I'm going to give you exercises that are going to help you um, build that chest voice and then also help you get through the bridge into your head voice. So you could watch some videos here to show some of the professionals who, you know, have the same problem that you have described. <clears throat> okay. So um, hopefully that's going to help address that question of um, light chest and how do we build it. Okay, so powertosing.com, take the power test or the vocal test and then um, 
go to the Knowledge Center, watch the videos on your, on your vocal type, pull chest high lyrics or flip falsetto or um, light chest, no chest, or mix, and uh, download the free exercises and start working on those. Okay, <clears throat> so I can connect chest voice to head voice, but the problem is the larynx position. Subi, I think that's going to settle down over time as you get used to it. And um, you can always do the dopey gee sound. Um, you can do um, uh, this gee gee. Gee 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 or goo 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 gee or goo with a dopey sound on any of the exercises will help bring the larynx down a little bit. Okay. Obviously, I get lightheaded when I do a lot of a lot of head voice. Is that normal? No. The lightheadedness probably is caused by your breathing. You might be getting too much oxygen. So I would look at that and see if that's maybe what's causing you to feel lightheaded. Uh, Jade Ellie. See video of Jesse Nimitz tension versus strain. Okay, I don't know Jesse. Um, LA Demo, thank you for your reply. I plan on buying your course. Okay, well, thanks. But at this point, I'm a self-study. I'm learning from YouTube. Yeah, that's a challenge for sure. Uh, like on my video, on my channel itself, I almost got 300 videos. So I'm going to be posting here one of these days, um, like the, the the seven to nine videos that you need to see first, uh, depending on what your vocal type is. And I think that will help a lot of people. And you can download those and know which videos you should watch to begin with. So, um, Francisco Padro, Prado, sorry, Francisco Prado. Have you heard of Brendan, the Brendan, Brendan, or Brendan Yuri? Sorry, I don't know him. Um, can you talk about singing on pitch? Um, I don't know really how to tell you how to sing on pitch. I can tell you how to develop it. Um, and we're also talking about, you know, what what are we talking about here? You can't find the pitch at all? Ah, 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 ah. You know, or are you just like a, just a fraction off of it? Because there's different different problems that people face. I recommend uh, you go online and uh, do searches for um, ear training. And um, ear training will help you develop your ability to match the pitch with your voice. So when you hear it, ah, you can match the pitch. Uh, there's um, an app called Arrow, E-R-O-L, Arrow. And it's a phone app. And they have some fun little things you can do to record it, and it will measure. It'll tell you. Uh, it'll show you how you're, whether you're on or you're off the note, and you'll get a score. And you know you can keep track of your score, and it helps you develop your ear and your pitch and your ability to match the pitch. I think that's a good place to start. So I would, and I've had students who've gotten that app and uh, used it, and it's helped them. But you need to listen a lot of music. You need to sing with a lot of music. You need to, um, I have a student right now, it's been here about a year and he's getting better and better all the time. Uh, he joined his church choir and um, so he's he's learning to look at music and help that guide him as, you know, which, where his voice should go and so forth. So it's a, it's a lot of work, but that's what I recommend you've got to do. I sang dozen I sang hours as a kid I just sang I'd sit in front of the of the record player and just sing and sing and sing my brother and I would sing and sing and sing my, it must have driven our mother crazy um, pushing the larynx down is not good relax the tongue and jaw let it drop yeah so yeah we don't ever want to uh, push push things down now in the exercises we might have you do a dopey gee 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 Gee, 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 gee. But we, 
uh, that's to kind of help yeah, retrain the larynx to stay down, but we wouldn't ever sing with that. Bernie Tech says, Happy New Year's. One question, I do the nays without breaking into falsetto. But when I sing a song, it becomes difficult to go through my mix. I feel my larynx go high. What should I do? Well, Bernie, that's a very common problem, especially at first. Um, but one thing you could do is, whatever the song is, do it with a bratty neigh. So if it's like... So take the nay, 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 keep it bratty, witchy, and uh, see if you can maintain the uh, connection um, on the bratty nay in the song with the melody. Um, if, if you could do it on the nay, 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 <clears throat> if you can't do it on the nay, 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 then it's got to be even bratty or witchier and maybe try it softer. Nay, 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 or when it begins to hold, and go to another vowel uh, consonant combination. No, 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 no. If it doesn't hold, go back to the one that held. Nay, 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 nay. Now it's very possible that your vowels are spreading. So when you hit, you hit a, a part in the song where the vowel opens too wide and you know what will happen is the, the larynx will come up it's very likely your voice will crack and it feels like you've pulled your chest up and so that's a whole another issue and that's called vowel modification and um, I would go to my website go to the knowledge center there's a drop down menu on the right hand side of categories and search for vowels and that will help you. There's, oh, I don't know, there's at least six or seven videos, and one of them has a download you can get that will show you how to modify the vowels. Essentially what that means is that when you get to the bridge or in your head voice, the vowels have to narrow somewhat, and it will help you. If I said, ah, well, I, the vowel is uh, not only not modifying, it's spreading. Or if I said, oh, and it's going to lead to it to crack or pull or do other bad things. So I have to have that vowel modified just a little bit. <clears throat> ah. In this case, ah goes to uh, ah to uh. Or if I said eh, ah, if you listen to that carefully, you'll discover that I actually went from A to E. So there's some little things you can do in the songs that will help you. And uh, it's, uh, it's a way to help you bridge. Okay, we're getting down to the wire here. Um, got to um, start wrapping this up. I've got students coming uh, within a few minutes. So I want to just double check here and make sure that uh, I've addressed some of these um, questions that you've had today. Uh, let me just do a quick scan to uh, say hi to anybody else who's, who's, who's joined us today. Um, okay, so I want to say a uh, shout out to all of you who have been here with me and uh, welcome to those of you who are maybe here for your first time. Um, Joe, I hope your voice starts, your throat gets feeling better. And um, so VC Osmium, Osmium, record your own voice. There's no substitute for hearing your true pitch and adjusting it as, you ne as needed. And I, I think you should record your voice when you're practicing. That's been such a benefit to me to practice. Um, I practice with my lessons that I take and I record myself practicing and uh, listen back to see if it's sounding like the lesson was and um, feeling what it feels like versus what I thought it was sounding like and so forth. It's very, very helpful. Um, 
So Richard says, I can sing through the bridge without breaking, but there is no chest voice element after the first bridge of just, of just head voice. How do I add chest sound to my mix? So, uh, Audie, yes. Hi, Audie. Freiberger, you're certainly welcome. Thank you. If I said... Um, it's probably because my larynx is coming up and I just haven't learned yet... Um, to uh, be able to enough, you know, I haven't done it long enough to do it. Because I, I used to certainly be that way. It just took me a little while to be able to say, that's the G. So I learned to walk, but it took me a year or more to learn to run. And uh, it probably it's just a matter of time Richard before because um, if you're if you're bridging effectively it will lead to more power and strength but uh, a quick way would be do that bratty nay 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 and it says hold do it a little bit louder nay 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 and then go from nay 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 no 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 and watch out you know say nay 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 blah up and lose your connection there uh, well uh, you have to you keep the no in the same place the bratty nay was otherwise it's going to go if it goes into to your mouth falls into your mouth and into your chest then you crack and break and pull the chest voice and it's not going to help you so maintain the same feeling You can gradually get more normal. Nay, 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 no, 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 and so forth. All right. Thank you, everybody, for... Uh, there's some suggestions here. I recommend it. Uh, great. Thank you for helping each other. Uh, Yupadio says, I use Vocal Pitch Monitor app. It's great. Awesome. Yupadios, thank you. I have to look at that myself. It might be something that other students can use. So... Um, so thank you very much. Happy New Year to all of you. Uh, make this your best vocal year ever and keep working this. I promise you there's so much growth, so much happiness with the growth that you experience in your voice. So I'm Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing. You can sing higher with beauty, confidence, and power. I'll see you inside the next video. Thank you. Have a great day and great week.